So, good day ma'am, good day classmates. I'm going to discuss to you the lesson 2.1, Fundamentals of Traffic Management. So, traffic management, mo ni siya ang pag-organize, pag-arrange, guidance, o control na galarga man or nagahunong ang sakin. So, management, mo ni siya ang tamang paggamit sa means para mahuman ang usaka purpose. Second is operation. Pertains to a course or sense of facts that affect certain purpose, manner of action, or a vital or natural process of activity. Roadway. Roadway, parts of traffic, parts of traffic way kung asa ang motor nagaagi. So, shoulder. Mauni siya ang side sa roadway, especially along highways. Next is traffic. Mone siya ang movement sa tao, butang, or sakyanan, either powered by combustion system or animal drone. Traffic way. Nag-refer ni siya sa kalapat between boundary lines kung asa ang every way is open para magamit sa public as a matter of right or cost. So, why, manage, eh, why traffic management is necessary? So, kailangan kayo o importante kaayon ng traffic management para safe ang pagbiyahe para sa mga travelers o para dali o walay daghang hasul. So, natay major ca- cases of traffic conge- congestion. First is physical inadequacy. So, means nagcharacterize di siya by lack of roads, narrow bridges, railroad crossing, lack of traffic facilities. Second, poor control measures. Mao ni siya ang ineffective mechanical control devices, inefficient traffic officers o ang poor na pag-implement sa traffic laws, rules, rules and regulations. Third one, Human error. So, dagan traffic congestion are caused by slow drivers or poor driving habits, pedestrian mistakes, officers' errors, poor planning, poor legislation, and traffic accidents, which are mostly attributed to human error. Napatay scopes of traffic management. First is, tanang public surface facilities traversing and parking in all types of conveyances para sa movement sa persons and things. Second, tanang agencies na responsible para sa licensing, approving, restricting, stopping, prohibiting, and controlling the use of these facilities. Napotay agencies involved in traffic management. The first one is the Department of Transportation and Communication or DOTC. The DOTC through the Land Transportation Office or LTO, sila ang responsible sa pag-implement sa Land Transportation Code of the Philippines, Republic Act 4136, kanang pag-issue of driver's license, registration of motor vehicles, approv- approval of franchise, for public conveyances through LTFRB and conducting traffic safety seminar. Second is city or municipal engineer's office. Sa local level, kani na offices is sila ang responsible sa planning, construction, o maintenance sa traffic facilities sa ilang respective locality. Third one is Department of Public Works and Highways, DPWH. Maoni ang main executive department na responsible for the planning, construction, o maintenance sa traffic facilities particularly katong categorized as national highways o of other major road arteries. The fourth one is legislative. Congress or city or municipal boards. Ang legislative bodies is dili lang responsible para passing or amendment sa laws concerning traffic Also, involved po sila sa planning o approval sa government project. The fifth one, Philippine National Police, PNP. PNP, through its traffic management group, PNP to TMG, is responsible primarily for the direct enforcement sa traffic laws, rules, and regulation. Nag-perform po ni silang conducting of information dissemination campaigns, submitting traffic scheme proposals, and other functions as the need arises. The sixth one is academic institution. Skwelahan, private o public are responsible 
paras basic traffic education by integrating in their respective programs or curriculum subjects or topics on traffic traffic safety. The seventh is ang courts. Ang courts mao ang responsible para sa adjudication sa traffic related cases filed before them. Eighth is Public Information Office. Ang government pinaagi sa Philippine Information Agency or PIA is taga-provide sa necessary updated information to the public by creating traffic safety campaigns o other activities na related sa traffic. One is Citizen Support Groups. Ang private institutions or organization is nagatabang sa pag-prevent sa traffic congestion by assisting government offices in various activities, particularly during special occasions and holidays where traffic problem is likely to happen. Tenth is Media, government and privately owned publication and radio and television broadcasting companies provide an updated traffic-related information to public through their respective programs. The last one in the eleventh is other agencies, which are in one way or another help in the easing the traffic-related problems. So. Ang successful na traffic management daw is not the sole responsibility of the government but rather a concerted effort between the government and the private organizations. That's all, ma'am and classmates. Thank you.